some like it hot and tonight we're going to talk about hot keys all right what hot keys do i use we're going to talk about the entire configuration if you got the corsair k55 or the k57 as i suggest that you guys do when you are running around with our crew i'm going to show you guys all of the hot keys that i'm using on my live streams which ones you should get all of that good stuff and if you get lost here you can head on over here to our discord channel chat let me pull in our discord here and head over to the Vinny's Tips and Tricks section on the left-hand side, and you will see this one right here. So Vinny's Tips and Tricks right there, and then you can scroll down in here, and if you miss some of this, but I am, it's a little bit tricky setting up the keys on this, so I do want to walk through every single one of these, but we do have it here. If you need a little cheat sheet here, we are gonna be setting up the break even, even locks, the sell bid, sell ask, I'm sorry, buy bid, sell ask, sell market, buy market, and the flat and close. Two primaries that I'm using the most often are this one right here and this one right here. And I am mousing in on most of the buys and sells. However, there are times when I am trying to pull some off, when I am doing um, half on, half off ad, when it gets to the more complex advanced exits, then I'm using these hot keys as well, which are going to be, um, again, I would call these um, auxiliary keys because you can also do this via the mouse, but sometimes it's nice to have both. Sometimes I have my right hand over the close or maybe lefty right here over the close and I've got my other finger on the buy button on my mouse or a sell button on the mouse, but then I can hover my thumb over this one. And let me talk to you guys about why it's nice to have this and kind of looking at it um, from a keyboard perspective. Let me, let me pull this up. I've, I've got a little to show a little digital magic here tonight. Let's turn on the IV cam. All right, here we go. Oh, it's coming alive. Oh, dun, 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 dun. oh, this camera is traveling around my office right now. What does it spy? Oh, there's our 500 sheet. Oh, it was, is that made of wood? Is that real wood? Holy shnikes. That's real wood. Does that say get you some? Does that say two piece and a biscuit? The golden edge ready up. Targets filled candy day bonus. Oh, very cool. Yes, one of our members um, burnt that in for me. Very cool. Another member got this one for me, Millionaire. Very cool, love it. All right, but let's go to the parts that we're talking about here. Oh, let's sit down in Vinny's office. What's it look like? Oh, how about that? Here we go. We got, we got travel mode, let's go. All right, so let's go into the keyboard right now so you should have one of these if you don't make sure and get it this is i'm telling you it is a game changer all you mechanical keyboard nutbags get that mechanical crap out of here get a real keyboard get a membrane based keyboard it's a little dusty there but this is the corsair k55 or the k57 i have the k57 because it also has a wireless option very cool you can pull the plug right here boop pull it out and now it's wireless i keep it plugged in just because i don't like you know, worrying that I'm gonna run out of battery. So these are the keys we're gonna be lining up. The G keys on the left, you'll notice my colors. We do have this color configuration also in that tips and tricks section. If you'd like to turn your keyboard like this, the RGB, the algo box. So this is what we're gonna be doing up here, top left. I've got the G1 key to get me to break even. Just to pull all my stops to one location, I'm gonna show this at the end. So stay till the end. I'm actually gonna do some market replay trades with using these keys and showing you how awesome that is. We've got the bid asks up here. Now the buy sell at market right here. Boom, these two right here. And when I, you guys hear me on the th on the live streams where you'll hear me say, okay, I got my thumb over the close. I'm right here. I literally got my hand at rest because I don't want to accidentally jack it up. I got my thumb sitting right there on the close. Boom, there it is, okay? Got my hand out, there it is. I got my other hand over here on my mouse, my awesome G300S. If you don't have one of these, you're also missing out. You can have the most dexterity and the hand grip, the proper claw grip configuration with that mouse and it is ambidextrous, so there's no excuse not to have it. So I've got close right here. I got buy over here or sell. So I can make that decision instantaneously when the market starts moving hot. You know what I'm talking about? Game mode on, boom, close. And if I need to buy or sell, I can always ta-da-da-da -da 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 right there. Okay, ta-da-da-da, buy, sell, buy, sell. Boom, close, buy, sell, buy, sell, boom, close. Now, if uh, market's moving real quick, all of a sudden, oh, market's getting nuts. Oh, I don't want to move all my stops. I simply right, reach up here, I go, bam. I hit that button, boom. And all of a sudden, all of my stops go right to my point of entry, wham. And now I can actually grab it from there and I can put it anywhere I want. But now all of my stops get grouped. This is like the grouping button. This, uh, this will group all your stops and it puts it at break even, boom, ram, real fast. 
one click, zoom, all of them go in the same spot. And now you can move those up and out of the way or close it out, et cetera, et cetera. Very, very handy key to have that one right there. All right, let's get into those hotkeys and show you how to get it set up. Let's do this. All right, hope you guys enjoyed that through the magic of technology. Let's get to our tools. So we're gonna go over here into our NinjaTrader configuration. Let's see if Control-4 will zoom me in here. Okay, so I'm gonna go right here to Tools, and we are going to Hotkeys right here. Hotkeys. Bing, bing, bong. Bing, bang, bing, bang, bong. All right, that is going to pull up this window. It went to one of my other screens here. And let's start setting this up. I do not have this set up on this machine. I have it set up on my other. So I'm literally going to do this here with you tonight. So pull out, press pause on the video right now. Let's do this together. Okay. Pull out your, um, pull out your stuff. Let's do this. First thing I want to do is go to the order entry section on the left. We're going to order entry right there. Select that. And now let's go through these configurations. I'm going to pull up my little cheat sheet here and here we go so on buy bid all i want you to do is click on buy bid first this is going to be control alt three control alt three just trust me follow this through if it gives you an error message that says hey this is already done it doesn't matter tell it to say override it okay control alt numpad three for me okay boom okay hold on okay so uh yeah that's okay so i had forgotten that i have um that i have a Basically control all numpad three for me moves a window bottom right hand corner screen. So if you have that same thing, again, alternatively, instead of numpad, I'm gonna do control alt the number three on the top. So let's try this one more time. I'm gonna go by bid, control alt the number three. There we go. Okay. Now for my buy market, this is gonna be number five. So control alt number five, control alt five. Okay, then let's go to the next one. Sell ask, this is going to be control alt and the number two. Control Alt number two for our sell ask. Let's go to sell market on sell market. I'm going to click and sell market is going to be four. All right, so I'm going to control Alt number four. Okay. Uh, now again, I'm not pressing the G keys. I know I'm showing G keys. What we're doing is we're going to assign these to the G keys. That's why I'm saying this is a little bit complex. That's why you want to do this with me. Just trust me, go through the steps. But no, I'm not pressing the G keys right now. I'm literally pressing Control, Alt, and the number four. We're going to go and assign those to the G keys when we're done. Okay, so just letting you know where we're going here. So market. All right, we're going to our break even position. This is that one I was telling you about, that G1 key. So this is going to be the number one. So click on it, Control, Alt, one, number one. Okay, now another thing I would like you to remove, everybody's default for OCO order, if you've ever been stuck, on something where it's like, hey, why is my screen telling me OCO order, blah, blah, blah. You probably hit control Z on your keyboard by accident. Control Z is also undo, right? And so you've got other you know, things you're doing on your machine. If you're like doing a Word document, you do control Z. This is the stupidest hotkey. I can't believe they automatically assign this, okay? OCO order, control Z, stupid, stupid hotkey. Undo it. All you do is come over here, press X, okay? Take control Z off of your OCO order. I recommend this for everyone, okay? Now, close position, the last one, I should have probably done the close position first. Close position, let's not forget this one, very important, this is gonna be our number six. This is the one that we use on our thumb all the time. Control, Alt, number six, whoops, that didn't work. Control, Alt, number six, boom. Okay, that's it. Take a screenshot of this. This is gonna be your configuration right there can that uh can i get it all in up there there boom you don't need anything else got it cool all right so now we've got them assigned let's click okay so now those are assigned inside of ninja trader but now i need to assign those to my keyboard so let's talk about how we do this first you're going to launch the corsair iq app okay this is with corsair and if you don't have the software installed for your keyboard you do need to get this okay corsair and it's called i c u e okay it's their iq software so make sure that you get get that software all right and we're going to run that right now so i'm going to literally hit the start button and press start i'm going to type i c u e iq 
and here comes that app right now. We're actually going to start and create a profile first, okay? Because uh, so if you're like me, you know, as a gamer, I might have different configurations than I do for trading. I would like you to go ahead and create a profile for trading, and you can still set it as your default. We'll go ahead and do that while we're here as well, but it's important. So here is where we can change all of our colors and things of that sort. Um, but what I want to do is go up here. You notice I have this to default right here. This is this is the name up top left of the profile. I want to create one called trading. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and do the plus sign. And I'm going to assign it a color. And since we want to make some money, how about we do green? Now, if you're red, green, colorblind, maybe this isn't the best for you, but I'm going to do green and we're going to call this trading. And whenever I do something, I like to put my initials on it so that I'm like, did I create that or was that already there? Trading dash VM. And I'm going to create. Okay, so now whenever this is selected to trading, I know that this is going to be my configuration. Okay. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm, I've got other devices here. There's my K57 wireless receiver. So I've got the K57. I'm just going to click right here and we're going to go into key assignments. Now, the lighting effects, that's right here. You guys can do that um, from the tips and tricks section uh, later on. But in here, they're not going to show the colors, but we are going to assign these right here. You'll notice as I hover my mouse over these, they are um, there. They, you can activate these. Now, I'm going to go down here into my assignments and I'm just going to start assigning these. Okay, so um, for assignment one, I'm going to select keystroke. Okay. Now over here, you see type of key. So I'm going to go ahead and click here and I'm going to start from the top. I'm going to go G1 through G6 here. So I'm just going to go, um, this one is going to be control alt one. Pretty easy, right? And then I'm going to literally click up here on the G key and that's it. Okay. So I'm going to click another one. Okay. I want to click plus and I'm going to do a keystroke. Right here, I'm gonna do Control Alt. I bet you can guess what I'm gonna do here. Control Alt Two, and then I'm gonna click on G Two. You guys, get this. Let me zoom in. Okay, so I'm coming down here. I'm hitting my. Whoops, <laughs> I gotta reassign that. But once I have typed it, then I'm coming right up here, and I'm gonna click right there, and now it goes from being dark to the gray right there. Okay, so I'm gonna come down here and record it one more time. I need to escape and clear that. All right, and I'm going to click right here and it's going to be control alt two. Okay. And then I literally click it right there. So simple, right? Click it and I'm going to do keystroke. I have to click right here to tell it what you want to do. I um, should zoom into this section right here. Okay. Next part you need to select. We're doing a keystroke right there. Okay. Keystroke and then click right over here to what we're going to map it to. And I'm doing what? Three, right? Control alt three. Got it. Remember, I'm holding those all at the same time in case people are not familiar with holding control alt. It's like uh, control alt delete, you know, control tab, control alt. This is control alt and the numbers at the same time. If y'all, I guess I should have said that before. I assume you guys know that. If you didn't, I apologize. Go back and make sure you do that. Okay. Keystroke number four. Keystroke. Here we go. Control alt four. Got it. Click on G4. Boom. Keystroke number five. Control alt. Oops, I messed it up. Keystroke first, All right? Control Alt five. Now I'm gonna click on G five, and one more keystroke. It's gonna be number six. Keystroke, Control Alt, the number six four. And I click on G six. Boom. So fly in my G six. All right, there we go. Um, that's it. That's it. Oh, I lost my lighting effects. I forgot. I needed to copy that. Um, one thing, if you do have your colors on your other one, notice like, so my default profile is already um, already there. So I would have to go and grab this. You can actually copy this. I should have done this first. Okay, I'm going to back up the steps on this. If you want your colors to copy over, and I'll do this. I'm going to redo this later so I can get my colors over on this one. But you want to copy profile first. Okay, so I'm going to copy this default profile to a trading one. And let's do that right here. So click the little dots. Right here and you see this copy profile should have done that first so i could get my color keys all right and then rename it so i would rename it and this one's going to be trading two there we go now i can go into my trading um, assignments here save all right and then go back to uh, my dashboard 
Uh, no, so do not press the dashboard. Uh, it's still still here on the home, but hit this little arrow up button. This will make this go away. Okay, there we go. Get it out of the way. See the little drop down? So I'm getting the drop down out of the way. There's my new trading one. I go to key assignments and you know, I've got, I've got these, are, these are other ones that I've had from before. So I don't want those. I would overwrite these. And, uh, but now if I select my trading two, it's kind of a good you know example. This is how you activate that. So if you didn't have this, if you had your default from before, okay, and you wanted to switch to your trading, again, you could also do different colors. So like you want to know if you're on the trading profile or not, you could do one set of colors. Oh, I just noticed out of the corner of my eye, like my keyboard literally just changed when I selected this one. So I changed this one all of a sudden with the black, right? So you could do, you know, I don't know, like green keys when you're trading, red keys when you're not, who knows, like, I don't know, something like that. But, or if you just want trading on all the time, you've got some options there. Again, I just want to kind of give you all the cool little tidbits there. But now that when I selected this, all my colors uh, are now off. So I'm going to go and make that nice and colorful. So I would be um, selecting my default profile to turn that on. But uh, for right now, we're going to go to trading so that we can, uh-oh, this lost one. Hold on, let's go in and edit. Oh, I didn't press six, did I? All right, so keystroke six, I just select it right here, and then I literally just click right there, and it's done. Oops, I guess I didn't save it. Save. There we go. I don't know, it didn't save from before. Okay. Is that good? Let's check it. There we go. Okay, just make sure they're all lit. I did notice that there was no like save button there. I needed to click off on something for that to work. So just be careful with that. All right, make sure that all of them are assigned. See G1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. You are ready to go. All right, let's go and test this um, in some market replay. I'm going to connect to market replay and let's have some fun. All right. Let's go. All right, just want to test it real quick. So just testing my buttons just to make sure we are working. Okay, so now let's say that I come in here and this is the scenario, right? So I'm going to I'm going to buy, 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 tap, tap, tap. Okay, so now I've got my stops and targets up there. Now let's let's add a little a little flare here where these start to uh, start kind of getting slipped up here. Let's see if we can get it to go a little bit faster. All right, here we go. So I'm going to add to position here. Whoops. Hold on a second. All right, this is kind of a good a good exercise anyway. So I want you to right click on your chart, uh, chart trader, okay? And select properties. You need to click on the actual chart trader itself and somewhere in the blank area, not on the buttons. Right here, this is an important drop down. Somebody else has asked about this the other day and I just realized this is not in the template. So I'm going to apply this in the next template. So on the next version, this will automatically be assigned for you on the templates. I apologize, this by default is not, this is basically Ninja Trader's default. We don't want it to be like this. Um, we want this one to keep selected ATM strategy template on order submission. So basically it will um, it will reapply that one. That's, this is the one we want right here. Click OK. And let's try that again. OK, so this is the type of scenario that we want to really kind of simulate here where we start to kind of get a mess, right? Where you've got a whole bunch of, actually, let me turn, uh, go right click, go to data series, and we're going to turn off text and markers here. So do not plot the entries. OK. So our trade is moving up nice for us here, okay? Now, but let's say that these stops, uh, market starts coming back on me, there we go, it's coming back, okay? Getting snappy, hmm, uh-oh, what am I gonna do? Okay, well, I I need to, I, I could either come in here and I start doing this, y'all know the drill, right? Okay, I move this one, I gotta move this one, I gotta move this one, Right, and let's say that I add to position here and it starts going back my direction. Okay, that's pretty cool. Wait for it. Okay, so I got a lot of things going down here. Now, I gotta mess with all these, right? Now I got I got all this stuff to deal with here. If I, you know, add to my position again, well now it just starts getting messier. Oh man, now I've got another one here. Okay, I add another one. Okay, now these are all, now I can move this around. Now I've got tags here. You see this whole mess, okay? So what did we just add? We got a really cool fix it button right here. What's our fix it button? I am going to not miss, you know, I don't wanna do this every time, but sometimes let's say that I wanted to, um, let's say that I wanted to group this whole thing together very, very quickly. I'm going to press my G1, okay? So let me, I uh, mean, it's no fun if I pull this over now because I don't have any lighted stuff. Okay, but just imagine on your keyboard, I'm gonna press G1 and watch all these stops. They're all gonna snap together and come right up here. Okay, ready? Three, two, one, boom! Press it. Uh-oh, didn't work. There we go. I needed to select. Okay, you do have to select the chart, folks. 
if you're off somewhere else, it's not gonna work, okay? Let's split them all out here again, make a mess. That stops everywhere, okay? You got me? So, big mess, okay? Now, select the chart, make sure the chart is selected, which most of the time you're gonna be, you know, you won't have that problem, but I'm literally gonna go, okay, ready? Three, two, one, press it, boom, wham. Now look, pow, I can put it anywhere I want. I wanna put that stop right behind the crosses, cool. Can I manage 30 contracts at a time? Yes, you see how cool that is to be able to snap that in, okay? So that's one way to use that. Now again, you can break some of those out. Now, I wish I could do that with targets. There's no way to really do that with targets, but we could close all these out, etc. you know, close or move them out, but that's less problematic. It's more like when I need to, like, I need to control my risk, which is our main objective, right? We're controlling our risk and trying to maximize our reward, right? So, uh, let's see, this sucker gonna keep going. Um, okay, so yeah, basically now it pulls back. I wanna add to position, cool. So now these are firing off if you got the right ATM. However, um, let's see, so what are the, some of the other stuff? So let's say I'm gonna press my, my buy market button over here on the left-hand scribe. Boom, you see that? So it's gonna fire off the ATM. I'm gonna press it a bunch now. Buy, 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 buy on my keyboard, okay? But now check this out. I can have my cell, finger over the cell on the right. So I've got buy and sell now, because I've got, um, you know, I got one up here. I can keep my mouse over one of these buttons, but then I got my thumb over here, right, on my, on my keyboard and I got my finger over the close or I got my finger over the buy button. This is why it's super handy. And I'm, you know, I'm left side, right side. See my hands over here? So I got left side, right side. I can I can even think, okay, left side's buy, right side's close. Like I tend to tell myself that. I'm like, okay, over here I'm gonna buy and then over here I'm gonna close. I literally tell myself, boom, left, right, left, right, left, right. I only have two decisions. Remember the market's only going two ways. We're going up or down, right? So I got my fingers in the right places here. So uh, yeah, so let's uh, let's see if this sucker is gonna keep on going. Pretty sure that she is here. So we're gonna go add, I'm gonna go full. I'm going 50 contracts, which by the way, let's talk about that. That is the max. 50 contracts is the max that you can do in our brokers, okay? So 50 on NASDAQ, Russell, and Dow. On the ES, it's 100 contracts. Anybody, somebody was asking me that the other day. What's the max that you can do? All right, let's see if we can get to our 4K target here. Okay, it's right there, almost at 4K. I got my finger, I got, I got my finger over the close. I got my thumb over the G6 key. If I get 4K, I'm gonna close it. Okay, I'm up over four, I need one more tick. Okay, close, boom, nailed it. All right, so instantaneously, I'm gonna flatten my position by pressing the G6. See that? Now, live market conditions, you're not gonna have all of the, you know, there's less hesitation and stuff like that. And I'm on a beefier machine too. So. This, um, there you go. Any any questions, comments, whatever, put those down in the comments below. These are my hotkeys. Let's do a few more examples here. Um, so let's do a, I'm gonna, I'm gonna press uh, sell. Okay, how about I'm going, uh, I'm going short here, okay? So getting short. Um, Do up to 10 contracts here. Okay, so we got 10 contracts short right now. Um, but let's say that I didn't have an ATM. Sometimes I am naked ordered, but maybe I'm stops only. Okay, so imagine I still have stops up there. Okay. Most of the time I always wanna still keep stops. But now, why do I have buy, bid, and ask, right? Those two keys that you're kinda like, you know, what's, what's up with those? Why do you need those? Sometimes, um, when I am trying to, you know, kind of catch a tick, and it's, it's, sometimes people say, ah, oh, he's being a dick for a tick, okay? Like, if it's pushing up my direction, or in this case, down, I want to get myself an extra tick, okay? So this is where I'm going to go ahead and I'm gonna buy the bid. Instead of closing out and buying at market for positions, I'm gonna buy bid here. Now, this is more complex. We're maybe doing a whole other video on this if you guys don't understand this, but uh, let me show you this in practice here. So I'm going to, this sucker starts dive bombing on uh, me, okay? And I wanna maybe target this um, right back here. I'm gonna press F6. So when it gets to that line, now right before it, I'm gonna start pressing my buy bid button. Okay, let me set this to none. So I'm gonna start taking some off. Look at this, see how it's a tick down? Okay, we're not quite there yet. Okay, boom, it, it touched me, okay. But now let's say I wanna do it again, right under this line. Oops, select right here. Okay, see how I'm down? I'm down one tick. Okay, so it keeps going, keeps going. 
I want to sell bid. Oops, click the, I have to click here, okay? Sell bid, see how it's one tick under? It's not really closing out, okay? Boom, all right. Well, I just sold all mine, okay? So now I got, I got buy limits down here, okay? Buy limits. So sometimes I may wanna be like kind of right behind it. If I don't wanna um, necessarily mark it in, I can take a limit order like this. So I might go bam, 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 all right. If it comes back to me by a tick, all right, then I wanna enter. Okay, so I might do it right here. Is it gonna go up for me? Okay. So maybe I get filled. All right, there we go. So I am, but that's gonna get me, you know, I, it might come back a tick. See, okay, there it goes. It's going without me. See? So it starts moving really fast. Okay, but I'm gonna buy bid. So if it comes back to me, so I'm I'm hitting buy bid instead of buy market, right? And they kind of you know you gotta be careful doing this because you know they, they kind of call oh, I'm being a dick for a tick because I'm literally trying to squeeze out one more tick, but I'm buying the bid. And oftentimes, now look if it's um, you know overnight or some other time, like the spread, the bid ask spread might be more than a tick. It might be a couple of ticks. So oftentimes that might be a little strategy. I have that there. I wouldn't necessarily you know don't. Don't fret yourself if you don't you know, know what to do with that. Um, those buttons, by the way, I guess I should extend this out. Um, you guys can see. Um, yeah, it's a little bright, I think, on your screens there. But so these, we usually don't use this too very often. Okay, most of the time I'm just marketing it. I'm not trying to be a dick for a tick. But when we're doing size and I'm getting into size, you will see me buy bid buy ask and it's always on exits i rarely ever do that on entries on entries i'm like tat, 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 get me in tat, 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 get me in and you know it's you know plus or minus whatever i'm not interested in you know worrying about commissions and being a dick for a tick most of the time okay. all right so that sucker's taken off we're coming right up to a line here so i might want to start peeling some off right here so i'm going to um I'm gonna buy the, I'm gonna put it right up one tick. See how I'm pressing that? So I'm taking some off right here. I got 18, let's see if it comes up and fills me. Cool, it got me. I'm trying to get filled, okay. All right, am I gonna get filled the rest of the way? Okay, so I got the rest of my orders. Uh-oh, it comes against me, see? So again, sometimes it's better to just close the position. Didn't quite get there for me for a tick, but that's what that would do. So I'm gonna press it one more time, watch what happens. Oops, okay, see I'm behind it, right? It's one tick above. Now we can make this a little more evident. Let's go and add an indicator, the bid ask lines for us. This is the Algobox bid ask. Oh, I think it's show bid ask, sorry. This is show bid ask, okay? I'm gonna add that there. Now you'll see the spread, okay? So you see the spread? So now again, this is a simulated data here. So, you know, we can make this be whatever, but right now it's only, it's one tick, you know, one ticks difference. But what that's gonna do, if we zoom in, okay, there is a gap there, okay? So that's the bid ask spread. So when you're hitting, you know, the, the you see how it's doing the top line every single time? All right, that's what we're doing. Okay, uh, let's see if it'll, Okay, so um, I'm selling the ask here, selling the ask, so I'm one tick behind it, right? So the theory is, 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 is it's going down this way, but it might come back a tick and pick you up and then keep going, pick you up a tick and keep going. So it's literally, you know, it's the, <laughs> that's why I say it's a dick for a tick, because you're like, oh, I'm just trying to get that extra little tick in there. Well, yeah, up to you, how your strategy, how you want to play into that, but at least you got the keys ready to go for yourself. Um, and then of course, uh, sucker's starting to go down. Oh, oh, good now. Okay, press close. Boom. Okay, thumb on the G6. Boom, close out. Or I can have this one. So this gives you some options to play with. Those are my hotkeys that I'm using in the live feed when I can quickly get in, quickly get out on my positions. Now, always pay attention, like the numbers. You're, you're going to ask, like, well, what are the numbers? How do you know how many you're getting in? Right over here. You control the order quantity still right here, okay, per click. Per click or per button press is right here. So right now, every button that I press or every click of the mouse up here on one of these buttons is gonna be how many? Two, right? So like right now, when I'm going against ICT and I'm getting bigger size, my default order quantity is five. So even if I, now if I go careful, if you select one of these ATMs, watch that number will change, okay? So if I'm gonna do a tiny ATM, 
I got to reset this. Okay. I want to go to five contracts here. Now I can press sell market, sell market. Okay. Um, I'm going to sell ask to try to get, be a dick for a tick. Oh, didn't fill me. Okay. Didn't get filled on some of those. There she goes. We're target filled. Okay. Very cool. Um, but it is going to be whatever quantity is right here. Okay. So on the fives, I'm going to press close. Boom. Closing it out. Okay. Now let's say that we're, we're going to go back the other way. Okay. So I'm going to get long. I'm going to press buy, buy, buy. Okay. So I pressed it three times and now I'm at 15 contracts, right? So same thing on my buttons. Let's say that I, uh, I'm going to buy market. Okay. Buy, buy, buy. Okay. Boom. Five, five, five. So now it's five times six. I'm at 30 contracts. See? So it's going to be whatever this number is. Let's say I set it to 10. Okay. Again, I don't recommend this unless you're trading SIM. Um, or if you are in a trader funding program, then it doesn't matter because that's also SIM. Um, people who don't know that, I mean, by now you guys should all know that, right? Okay. So in, let's say that we're going to do SIM. So I know that if I press the buttons here, I'm going to do order quantity 10, right? So here we go. Bye, bye, bye. So how many is that going to be? 30 contracts, right? Bye, 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 right? Because it's three times 10. Make sense? Okay, so we go up. That should be target filled. I have my sound off on the targets right now. Um, let's see. How about, what else do we need to test out here? I think that's it. Make sure, again, make sure that you are... The highlighted, there is somebody had said that like, there's a Windows key, uh, there's a Windows configuration that you can set where you'll have um, whatever you're hovering over, that it will become active. There's a Windows setting for that. I don't use that. I make sure I click into the window. This is where I'm going to be doing it. So if I click in over here, okay, on a different one, so on ES, if I click right here on ES, okay, and I hit that buy, what's that going to do? Oh, we got a sell signal here. So I'm going to press the sell button, sell, 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 but it's on one. You see, I can tell order quantity must be on ones. Yep. Sure enough. So I want to do five. I go to five. I press it one time. I'm in 10. I press another time and be 15, right? Boom. I press it again. Oops. I press the buy instead of sell. Make sure you're pressing the right buttons. Okay. So I am selling. I'm in 20 short now because I put it to five. Okay. So whatever I've selected, I select up here. I'm in short, right? Sell, sell, sell. All right. Adding to position. Sell, sell, sell. Adding to position. Sell, sell, sell. All right. I'm at 45. Boom. One more time. Now I'm at max. I'm at 50. I see that. Okay. But if I accidentally click over here on NQ and I don't know it, I got my mouse hovering over here. What's going to happen? NQ is going to get short, right? Look. It's taking trades on NQ. See, we don't want to do that, do we? Oh shoot, what's happening? Oh, oh, I want to click here. Click, click, click. I click over here, what's going to happen? Sell, sell, sell. Click, click, sell, sell. Uh-oh, uh-oh. What's happening? Oh, it's my order quantity. What's my order quantity? Oh no, it's at two. I'm supposed to be at five because I'm trading against ICT, five, five, five. See, oh, I clicked on RTY, sell, sell, sell. Uh-oh, I thought I was over here, but my mouse is over here. Vinny, why is it not working? Why is it not working, Vinny? I can't, I can't do it. Why is it not letting me? You know why, right? Um, okay, so hopefully that's the hotkey tour and yeah, I hope that was helpful. Catch you in the next one.